Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Saturday, January 20, 2024. 8 degrees at, what time is it, sweethearts? 8.52 a.m. and I am your host, Ba Kamal, and I'm a sinner. I am powerless and life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. There's Moigi. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God, and the only thing we got to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. Oh, boy. Eight degrees out there right now, and I think we're looking for a high in the high teens. Warmer weather is promised by the conjurers beginning Monday. We're supposed to have a high of 31 that day. I'm wrong enough to be a weatherman, and it won't surprise me if they change their mind. It's the old carrot on the stick trick. Oh, look, there's Mikey back again. Come on, Bubby. Come on, honey. We don't see you much anymore. You gonna come cuddle with me? Come on, honey. Okay. Come on, Michael. You mind like a cat, you know that? So anyway, I think we've been up since about... 6, maybe even 5.30. Didn't get out of bed, though, until I don't know what time it was. And we went from the bed upstairs to Audie's bed in the living room and cuddled up and laid down for about an hour. I think we got our coffee going and our gruel around 7 o'clock. And we had Tanzanian Peaberry coffee this morning. Um, we've said our prayers, read our readings started washing some dishes, had an issue with the sink, the faucet in the kitchen sink. It was just draining for no reason at all. And I put a new kit in it several years ago because the springs were sprung. And I may have to take that apart and just stretch out the springs and put them back in and things will be fine again. But in lieu of that, uh, We'll try to find a new spring kit if we can. I can't remember where I got it, if I got it at one of the local plumbers. But anyway, that's some excitement we had this morning. And then I couldn't figure out or make it stop leaking, and then all of a sudden it did. So I don't know. Mikey's back. This is big news. This is breaking news. We haven't seen much of him out here lately in the mornings. Come on, Bubby. Oh, you're such a sweet, good boy, and I love you so much. Yes, I do, and I know you love me. Yeah. So, didn't sleep too well. I don't think I had pleasant dreams. I didn't remember my dreams. Um, my shoulder, my right shoulder is really, really hurting me today. It's a traveling pain. It's not where it usually is. It's more... Uh, probably do a visual. It's right there where it's hurting today. And so I don't know what's up with that. But we'll grin and bear it for a while. One of these days I'll have to go get it x-rayed. Find out what it is. By that time it'll be probably too late. It'll probably be almost my expiration date. So anyway... Where do we begin? This is big news, and it's nice having you here again, little man. It is nice having you. How could you not love that face right there? Yeah, how could you not love that face? He's a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So anyway, we've done some calculating, and uh, since the solstice up here in this bucolic dwarf, we have gained 30 minutes of daylight. So... That's some excitement for today. Uh, recap from yesterday, we got out on some adventures and we went to the vet's office and picked up some cat food. Had a nice visit with oh Kaylee and Jess. Um, took them some soup, some of my lentil soup. And Kaylee gave me an update on her vacation. She went on, she, she's a deadhead. And she went and saw the Grateful Dead three times, or what's left of the Grateful Dead anyway. 
Um, I think she told me she's seen them 19 times and she also mentioned that her boyfriend proposed to her and she is engaged to be married. Bobby Sullivan's over there. He's not sure what he wants to do. Uh, from the vet's office, we drove over. Oh, Maxie's on the move. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Oh, boy. You guys going in? You're going to go out? You're going to have a standoff? What's happening over there? What are you guys up to? Uh, we went over to Full Bore Firearms after that and picked up our Kimber. Got some new sights on that. It came with target sights. It was a fiasco getting them, so I had some combat sights put on it. I probably could have done it, but the back one anyway, but the front one, no. But Jeff told me that it was actually more difficult to do the back one than it was the front. And I didn't have vices and whatnot and padded vices and the small bits that you need to drill the hole that, to hold the front sight in place a roll pin goes through it to hold it up front but anyway from there I was going to go to Culver's and get a fish and chips uh, lunch and there was not a parking lot in that restaurant I ended up driving to Marine Market visited there with the guys scored some Colombian con or some Congo coffee beans that we're probably not going to try till tomorrow we're finishing up the last of our Tanzanian pea berry but anyway, we scored some burger from there, some ground chuck, and some uh, bulk sausage to make some patties and have for breakfast. Might have some of that today and tomorrow. Isn't that fun? Uh, we came home from there. And Sully's trying to work his way in here. And we just hung out with the cats all afternoon. Did all kinds of exciting things. We read from the book Soldier X. We fell asleep watching a movie called The Lady Vanishes. It's a, an Alfred Hitchcock classic from the 1930s. And I really like it. I don't know what it is about that movie, but it is a pretty good story. Classic old Hollywood. The opening scene is all done with you know miniatures, and it's pretty obvious that it is. But it still was part of the movie making magic from way back when, you know. And I still like things like that. Actual practical effects better than a lot of the CGI that we have nowadays. But anyway, we're gonna take a break. I've been yammering for a long time. You want to add anything real quick, Sully? No. Like he's doing a little grooming, and we're gonna take a break. Welcome back, and I don't really mean that. I didn't mean it when I said good morning. Um, I like to try to correct all errors of fact, and yesterday I was talking about how this country is $34 billion in debt. It's actually $34 trillion. I don't even know how many zeros that is, but uh, they're not doing anything to stop the, the hemorrhaging and you know reverse course with that. It's just keep spend, spend, spending. Gotta love it. Light snow is falling outside. Very light snow. When it's this cold out, that's the one of the ban benefits and advantages of it, is the snow that we get is little itty bitty flakes. And uh, you don't get a lot of it. So, I'm gonna take another break again so I can think of something more useless to say. We are back again and for more excitement from yesterday, I deleted my entire browsing history on YouTube. And that included everything. Comments, uh, likes, dislikes on videos. Um, I just want to start lowering my uh, online presence, you know. And all that stuff's probably stored somewhere. It'll come back to haunt me somehow. But no offense meant to anyone who had commented or... I commented too. I read them. They've been done read and no sense hanging on to them. Still nothing happening out there. Ah, oh, there are some city chickens flying in the distance there. On tap for today, we will be helping out at the soup kitchen. Looking forward to that. I may walk there and then again I may not. I might ride my fat bike and then again I may not. 
And speaking of that, as a matter of fact, I think tomorrow that's what we have for a tentative plan, is to go riding out the old rail trail on the fatty. The winds are supposed to be 20, 10 to 20 miles an hour today, and being that I'll be spending most of the afternoon at the Friendship Room helping out, I don't think I'll do any bike riding today, but you never know. You just never know. So, I think one more little pause and then we'll be back to close. Well, we are back for our closing segment. I've been searching through my Amazon orders to try to find a, some Merino wool long johns I ordered. I've had them for quite some time and I can only go back like three months. And it reminds me of the attention span of a lot of people and whatever, you know. Those who do not study the past are condemned to repeat it, and uh, yeah, it's even worse than that. And I don't know where I was going with that. But anyway, on the phone, I'm not able to get back and find all my orders. I think I originally ordered that first pair I have in 2018, so I'm going to have to go to my, my PC to find out and reorder those another pair of those long johns. So that's some excitement for you. Your life is complete now, and I think that's all we have. I'm sure I could have said a lot more useless things, but I've said enough already. So from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody burden, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, bitter, angry, and tired soul, piss off. Happy Saturday, and thanks for not tuning in.